Am I the asshole? For denying my boyfriend a once in a lifetime experience just to be stubborn? I get free tickets to events in the US each year. Keeping it vague for privacy, but box seats at popular sports games, and up close seats at well known concerts. Each year I get X amount of tickets. My boyfriend wanted to quit smoking, and I told him if he did, we could celebrate with tickets to X event. He was excited for that, and came up with a plan to quit. A month later, I saw that he'd made no progress, and said I guess I'll invite your sister to the Taylor Swift concert then, since you're not making an effort to quit anymore. He got upset and said that it's not fair to tie the tickets to smoking, and I should invite him to some of my free events just to be nice share the experience with my boyfriend. I said we could discuss doing more than one a year when he quit smoking, but not before. He got upset and said it was really rude of me to hold the tickets over his head, and instead of tying it to smoking, we should just go together. I'm holding my ground, and he's holding his. Am I the asshole? For denying him these experiences until he quits smoking? I've never smoked cigarettes, so maybe I'm just unsympathetic. Edit he wants to quit, but he's been saying that for years. I'm not forcing him into anything. A lot of the votes so far are you're the asshole, so if that continues to be the consensus, BF has lots of events ahead of him and a heartfelt apology from me. Not the asshole. You had a clear deal. Giving up smoking isn't easy I know, I've done it, but it is impossible if you don't even try. I'm sure if he was making the attempt, you'd reconsider, but he isn't. When trying to get a loved one to give up an unhealthy habit, you've got the carrot reward if happens or stick whinge until they do it option. Him not getting to go to something he wants is a bit of both. But he still wants to smoke more. Not the asshole. Y'all made an agreement. He reneged after he made no effort towards his end of the deal. However, I wouldn't say it's fair to hold all future events against him. Either way he's going to need your support to quit. Maybe try to come up with a rewards system together with manageable benchmarks instead of one big reward sometime down the road. He got upset and said that it's not fair to tie the tickets to smoking, and I should invite him to some of my free events just to be nice share the experience with my boyfriend. I'm confused. You never invite him to the free events? Not the asshole you made the terms clear at the beginning, it's his own fault for starting smoking in the first place and the longer he carries on, the harder quitting will be. Stick to your guns up. Not the asshole. Sounds like you should have already dumped him. These whitey judgments are bizarrely missing the point that he agreed to this arrangement enthusiastically, and you aren't being manipulative by enforcing smoking being a deal breaker. Nah quitting smoking is hard don't make quitting about you and the rewards you can give. Your motives were good, but it was a mistake. Ask him what would help him give up rather than if you are serious about helping him quit. And let him go to the concert with you. Not the asshole and I was a smoker. My husband told me if I quit he would get me a car and we could go on vacation. Now mind you I have been smoking for almost 20 years and was up to two packs a day. If he wanted to quit he would have faked out the best method to quit for himself. You offered him an amazing reward to quit smoking. He chose not to do it but expected to be rewarded. Life doesn't work that way. And I haven't smoked in over 8 years and managed to save close to 50k from not smoking. Life is all about compromise and adjustment so anyone of you need to be understand the fact that either he is quitting the smoking but he is saying that for years so you should not hold tickets. Not the asshole. You have tickets and not obligated to share with him. Regardless whether it is quitting smoking or any other agreement he entered, the fact is that he agreed to the conditions. He could have tried to renegotiate with you when you set the conditions. He did not. And it was he who wanted to quit, not you. Frankly, I would never date a smoker. Not the asshole those tickets were supposed to be an incentive. He didn't quit, so why should he get rewarded? And, as far as I know Taylor Swift won't be quitting anytime soon so saying it's a once in a lifetime thing is exaggerating. 
Addiction is no joke. I'm sure in the moment he was all about the idea but your current deal will definitely cause resentment. Not the asshole but I think you should have a serious conversation about the importance of quitting smoking. It's completely reasonable to not want to date a smoker. You're trying to control his behavior with tickets. Unfortunately you can't control anyone and if you don't want to be with a smoker, go be with someone who prioritizes their health where you don't have to manipulate them to do so. Too many Taylor Swift posts. Not the asshole. The ones saying you're the asshole seem to be forgetting that your boyfriend signed up for this deal of his own choice. Yes, quitting is hard but people do it all the time. If he's not making an effort as you say then he doesn't truly want to quit. Not the asshole. He agreed to the deal and is now upset that you're sticking to it. Too bad for him. He made his bed, let him lie in it. And for the record, you aren't obligated to invite him to anything, especially not just to be nice. Not the asshole. It was clear the event would be a reward celebration of quitting. Are important. And it sucks to watch someone die of lung really bloody awful. My grandfather smoked for 60 years at least two packs a day. When my grandmother was diagnosed with lung cancer she was not a smoker, my grandfather quit cold turkey and never had another smoke the rest of his life. Unfortunately it was too late for grandma, and she died a miserable death. Still didn't stop my mom or dad. Dad died from cancer, and mom had COPD during her later years after she was diagnosed she stopped smoking. Not the asshole. Smoking is a vile habit, he deserves no mercy. He chose to start smoking, he has to do the work to stop. If nicotine stained fingers and the very real possibility of emphysema or lung cancer aren't enough, he's a lost cause. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You gave your terms, he agreed, and now he's mad he can't stick to it. That's on him. Quitting is hard. I get it. My partner quit smoking after 13 years and I watched them struggle. But at the end of the day, it is possible. Not the asshole you agreed with him on these exact terms. It's disappointing not to be able to go on the once in a lifetime experience, but they were an incentive you don't get your mutually agreed incentive if you don't do the thing it's for, right? Not the asshole. Not the asshole an agreement was reached and he did not keep to it, you're not wrong for following through. And he's a jerk for trying to gaslight you into thinking you are one. Not the asshole for wanting him to quit but you're the asshole for treating him like a child who will respond to ultimatums. Smokers are addicts. They need support and resources. Try a different approach and have him chat with his doctor to help him make a plan to quit. Going cold turkey is one of the least effective methods for smoking cessation. You're not the asshole. Consequences are real. He should have taken his health and you seriously. Not the asshole because he agreed to it. What's the point in using things as motivation to quit if he just gives in? If he realized that method wasn't working for him, he should have spoken up earlier on his own and said so. This just sounds like he's making big promises he won't keep just to take advantage of your benefits. Not the asshole. The terms were made clear at the start, my teacher often says that people who were warned, deserve no pity. ESH. It was clear to him that he got the tickets if he followed your terms and conditions. He didn't follow your terms and conditions, he doesn't get the tickets. But the whole if you do this you get a reward reminds me of how you would train a dog. And also, you can never control how someone acts or the decisions they make, which is what you are trying to do, and the results are just you treating him like a child. Not the asshole. You had a deal that he was fine with until you held him to it. Not the asshole. He willingly agreed to it and yes while smoking is an addiction it doesn't take away his free will he still has control over his actions so him choosing to continue smoking and trying to gaslight you into still giving him the tickets are a huge no-no. Not the asshole. He did agree initially. 
but given how hard it is to quit, maybe there can be a compromise made so that it doesn't feel like an ultimatum to him, while he's also not being rewarded for not really trying at all. You say he smokes a lot per day. Maybe set a middle ground and say if he can cut it in half by X state, y'all will still go. You're the asshole, if the roles were reversed there would be red flag comments everywhere about the fact that he was controlling you. Not the asshole. Quitting smoking is shit. I know, I've done it, but it's not so impossible that it can't be done with enough determination and chewing gum. He can get it together if he wants this enough. Not the asshole but is there a reason you didn't involve him in these before coming up with the quit smoking plan? Info do you usually bring him to events with you? It sounds like this was a rare moment where you invited him to come, conditionally, but I'm just wondering if that's the case or not. If you don't usually bring him, why not? Who do you go with? It does strike me as odd that you wouldn't want to bring him to concerts or sports games as free dates. Not the asshole he made a deal and couldn't hold to it and instead of placing the blame on himself he is blaming you. Not the asshole though I know how hard it is to quit don't let up in trying to keep your bf fulfill his promise. I only really got serious into quitting when my wife got diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer and she made me promise to stop smoking happy to say I have been clean 3 years and hopefully I keep my promise to my now deceased wife. Not the asshole it was an agreement. You both agreed if he quit smoking he'd go. I mean, the tickets are yours and you can do what you want but... You're the asshole. For treating him like a child with a rewards chart.